What's poppin' YouTube? Funko Fanatic Dags back again, and today I have, I believe, June's BAM Pop Culture Box. Now, it's not in its typical black BAM box because this month, in the Pop Culture Box, we're getting an autograph pop. So far, I've gotten two autograph pops from BAM Box. I like them both. You know, they're not going to get A-list actors uh, in, at the present time. You know, maybe they become, you know, maybe they go on to do more things and they become more popular, but... At the time of this box, you're not going to get, like, A-listers. You're not going to get, uh, you know, Chris Evans and, you know, all those guys. You're going to get, you know, more minor characters. So the first one I got was um, Daniel Logan, uh, who played the young Boba Fett in um, the uh, Attack of the Clones. Um, and then the second one I got was the voice of Woody Woodpecker. One of the voices of Woody Woodpecker. So that was cool. And I, and I didn't have either of those pops, which was a plus. Um, so there's a pop, uh, sign pop in this month's pop culture box, and then in July there's another sign pop. I think from the same movie. Um, they said it's a superhero movie uh, or a blockbuster, and it might have been a superhero movie. From what um, I'm guessing is, I'm thinking it's Shazam. Um, I did see one of the, I forget his name. I think it was the Asian guy, um, and he posted a picture with the pop. So I think it might be the kid who who played the uh, the, the Asian kid in Shazam. Uh, which would be cool. I, I did enjoy Shazam. I, I do like DC. Um, and I think Shazam was a good movie. So hopefully I don't have any Shazam pops. So I'll be happy with that. And I think next month in pop culture, there'll be another Shazam character, um, if I'm right. And then um, in August, there's going to be the first ever signed pop in the BAM horror box, which would be cool. So I don't know who, who, who that will be. All right. So let's crack this baby open. Usually you get the an autograph. You get a print. You get a pin. And then like a prop. I think most of the time um, there's like different variants too. like you can get different variant prints like I got I think I got the rare Thanos print last time um, there's rare pins um, this month's franchises I did not really like to be honest I think the franchises were Ghost in the Shell never saw it uh, Mr. Robot never saw it and I think Godzilla which which I do like Godzilla so we'll see they didn't say the, the franchise for the autograph. I'm guessing it's Shazam, which I do like Shazam. I did like that movie. It came out in April. So this looks like the sign pop here. I do feel a soft protector. So let's kind of do like the stuff over here. So the pin, uh, Rami Malek. I know this. This is, uh, I know him from Bohemian Rhapsody. He played Freddie Mercury. That is uh, Rami Malek. So to me, it's like, Okay, cool. I got a Remy Malik pin. That's Freddie Mercury. I don't watch Mr. Robot, uh, but that's Elliot. I think his name is a Mr. Robot. I don't. I don't watch the show. So um, Elliot from Mr. Robot, I believe Remy Malik plays him. Up next, this has got to be some Ghost in a Shell item. I see like uh, Chinese or Japanese writing. Oops, I'm sorry. I apologize. I don't really know anything about Ghost in the Shell. I did not see the movie. I should watch it. It's probably on on demand for free or something. So I might check it out one day. Um, but I did not see Ghost in the Shell. This is some type of necklace dog tag. Yeah. The print. Okay, cool. This I like. Uh, this is number 378 out of 3000. Signed by the artist. It is Godzilla. It looks like the Japanese uh, flag behind him. I did got uh, King of the Monsters. The the fight scenes from the monsters were great. The story, like the plot with the humans, is never good. It's just never good. But the action of the Godzilla fighting and all, all the different monsters, King Ghidra and Mo uh, Mothra, and uh, Rodan was awesome. So I do like this print Godzilla. It's like the one franchise I do like. I'm not sure if this is the rare one. This is out of three thousand, so I'm not sure. And then the pop. So I was right. Shazam! Pedro. So it's not the Asian guy. This is, um... I was thinking of Eugene. I was I was thinking of Eugene here. Um, but I was close. This, I actually, this is actually Pedro. And I wonder... So it's signed here on the front... In green, which I like green because he, he he was the green Shazam. Uh, it's kind of spoilery. Um, at the end of the movie, uh, they, they formed the... Everyone was a different 
Shazam. They all were different. Obviously, the Shazam was the main one. There's Freddy, Mary, Eugene, Darla, and Pedro. Um, so he, I like how they signed in green because he is the green Shazam, as I call it. it. Does have the Bam authentication sticker again? I would prefer if they put it down here, but they put it back over here, which is fine. And here's the cert. So yes, I believe this is the young. So this is the young. Pedro, so the actor who played him when he, like, at the end when he became this didn't sign it, it was the, the kid who played him as a kid in the movie for most of the movie right here, and that is, um, Jovan Armand, or Jovan Armand, um, yeah, so I don't, I wonder if he did any variants, I think he might have, like, maybe signed in different colors or stuff, stuff, let's take off the protector, they got the protectors from seven bucks a pop, which I do like. These are the, my uh, favorite pop protectors. Right, let's get this off here. So you can see it better. I did. I did. Surprisingly, I like Shazam. I, I saw the trailers. And I was like, this looks goofy. Like it looks like kind of like a like a dead. Like they're trying to be like Deadpool, but I I enjoyed it. I really did. So I'm happy to have this. Next month, I'm thinking next month, because <laughs> I saw that picture on Instagram of the guy who played the grown-up version of Eugene. I believe it was the grown-up version of Eugene. I think that's what next month's going to be now, because I saw him. The Funko even re shared it. Box when this is mint, too, so happy to have it. I don't really collect DC, but I love signed pops. Um, so cool. Pedro from Shazam signed. Let's see the spoiler card. Here it is. I don't think I got any one up. So, the Ghost in the Shell prop was a Dark Matter prop. Brings us Major uh, Scarlett Johansson's, that's cool, dog tag uh, from the movie Necklace. Um, the signed art print. We got the regular one. The, there's a all. I actually like the regular one. The 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 rare one is out of 500, and it's just all red. I kind of like the blue. Um, the pins we got the most common. There's a 250 with a hat and sunglasses, and I like this one the best. This masked one is only 99 of those. The signed Funko Pop. I do like how they do this now. So there are different versions. So. Oh, cool. He signed in yellow on some, and they were only, like, out of 99. Um, and he wrote, like, Kick His Ass Billy, or uh, Joe Vaughn was here. So he he wrote, like, he did different signings, which would be cool to have him write different things. But, of course, I just got the common Joe Vaughn, or Yo Vaughn, green signature. So that is the BAM box. Um, like I said, this is, like, about 30 bucks. If you get an autograph like this, it's thirty bucks. It's, people complain, um, but if you go to a con just to get in, it's thirty dollars, really. And even to get an actor who's not even that big, you're talking big actors like hundred bucks. But someone like this will charge you probably twenty bucks. So, and you know, it's definitely worth the value, in my opinion. Um, so it's cool just to have some fun. And you never, as a young actor, you never know what this guy's. I mean, he may do nothing, but he may go on to do, you know, bigger things, and you're like, oh, wow, I got his autograph from one of his first movies he did, you know what I mean? So, I, I think it's cool. Um, so, I'm looking forward to next month. Um, I usually only get these when there's a signed pop in it, so I'll continue for next month. Like I said, I think it's going to be Eugene, just my guess, and then I'll probably uh, put it on hold until they announce a new one, and I'll probably go for the horror fan box in August. Um, I do collect some horror. I'm, I'm unsure what they'll do. Maybe, like, a sign from Pet Cemetery or The Nun, or you know, I'm not expecting an Anthony Hopkins signed Hannibal Lecter. You know, you, that that kind of stuff you can't expect in, in, in a thirty dollar box. Be honest. So, guys, thank you all for watching. I guys hope you had a great Fourth of July weekend. It sucks, you know, tomorrow's Monday. Back to the grind. But uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next time.